Hi, welcome to another computer tutoring training session with Visio. We're continuing organizational charts. This time I'm going to show you how to use your own shapes with organizational charts, how to create them um, or adjust them really, add them to your own stencil and then add them to your organizational chart. Uh, now what I recommend is you do this at the very beginning. So I've got the organizational chart drawing here. Let me just maximize there. Uh, now I don't want any of this. So I'm just going to select it all and press delete on the keyboard. I'm using this is 2016. So let's just drag the three shapes that I want. I want the executive shape. So if I drag that, uh, I'm going to drag the manager shape. So drag it separately and the position shape as well. So I'm just going to deal with these three here. So before I carry on, I'm just going to change my layout to one that's more conducive. So I'm going to choose this top one here. So you can see on the shapes bit here at the top, I've chosen this one. Okay, next thing is I don't want any pictures in my organization chart shapes. So I'm just going to delete the pictures by selecting all of the shapes there and then choosing delete here at the top. So, and that will delete the picture from the shape. So there we go. So I've got no pictures in the shapes there. Next, I want to sort out my size uh, for them. So I'm going to keep the text the same, but this I'm just going to make a little bigger, holding the, um, just going to click and drag to make that a little bigger here for the executive shape, the manager shape, just a little bit bigger, but not as much. Uh, in fact, if I zoom in, that should be giving me sort of greater control over that. That's great. So if I just zoom up, so you can see the comparison between the two. There we go. Uh, and let's see comparison between three. Excellent. That's great. So any other extras or anything that I want to do to create if I wanted any shapes. So say, for instance, this one, if the blue one is going to represent sales staff, say I want to do a copy of that, I can hold the control key and drag a copy and say this one here will eventually, um, oops, <laughs> let me undo a couple of times. You don't want to drag it on top. There we go. So let's do, so drag a copy, that's better. Uh, and then this one here, I'm just going to change the uh, color of that. So if I go to... Um, Oh, not to file to home and change the fill color of that to say a purple color so the purple color represents r and d staff maybe and this i'll just do one more which is at the top here and then just change the fill color here to a what should i do oh, i've already done green like a beigey color there we go which will represent say for instance marketing maybe purple should be marketing but we've got three different types of positions there um so, yeah, so it just gives us a rough idea. Again, you might be able to change the same for the managers as well, but I'm going to keep all the managers pink. Great. So I've set up all my shapes, and I can add shapes whenever I want to. So the next thing is to create my stencil. So over on this side here, I'm just going to click on More Shapes. I'm just going to go down to and click on New Stencil Metric, and there's my new stencil here. And then what I'm going to do is add my shape to the stencil. So let's do it one at a time. So I'm going to drag this one here across. Now, incidentally, let me just undo, control Z to undo. If I want to keep a copy of the shape on the actual page, then hold down the control key as I drag the shape across. So I hold down the control key, click and drag the shape across there, and then we've got our shape over here. So if I right click, let's just go to Edit Master. Oops, right click, Edit Master. And then I'm going to go to Master Properties, as you can see just here. That's good. Okay, right click, edit Master, Master Properties. And this one is going to be called our Executive. Executive. And the prompt is what will appear when I hover my mouth over that shape. So let's say, for instance, I could say use for uh, any director. There we go. And I can even put search keywords in, which I'm not going to do at this time. I don't want this video to go on forever. If you want to know more, then book a training course. So we click on OK. Excellent. Let's try the next one for manager. So hold down the control key, drag manager across. Let's right click, go to edit master and master properties. And I'm going to call this one manager. And the prompt is use for any manager. Click on OK. So let's do these ones here. So the first one here was sales, I believe. So if I right click edit master and then choose sales person position, sorry, use for any position within sales. There we go. Click on OK. And let's do this next one here, which I think was, I think we changed our minds with this. So if we go to edit master, master properties and say marketing, market. Uh, in position and then use for any position 
within marketing. Uh, if I can spell it right. That's good. And last but not least, I think we had this as R and D. So I'm holding out in control and dragging it across. R and D position. Use oops, use for any position within R and D. Great. Click on OK. I've got my stencil here. So what I can do is I can save my stencil. So if I click on the save button, I can save it. It should open a window asking me where I want to save this. I'm going to save it into my shapes here. I'm just going to call this one my big org stencil. There we go. The stencil is a series of shapes. And you save there's a Visio stencil, BSS, and the Delex there for the XML upgraded version of Visio. This is Visio 2016. However, all of this should work with Visio with the earlier versions of Visio. Don't know about later versions. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? So click on Save there. Yeah. And now we've got my big org stencil. So what I can do is if I, um, let's just zoom back here, I don't need these shapes anymore. So if I just get rid of them, because I've got them all here. So let's say, for instance, we've got a brand new document. I'm going to make sure that's saved. If I've closed it down, if I need to bring up, you know, literally not bring up, but, you know, display my big org stencil, well, I can go to more shapes just over here, go down to my shapes, and then go to my big org stencil, and there it is. If I now want to use this on the page, I can just drag it. Executive here at the top. There we go. Manager here. Another manager here. Another manager here. Sales position. So this is sales. So this is the sales team. There you go. My marketing's in the middle. Let me just drag this over across. I'm using the control and the shift key and dragging with my right mouse button to move that across. There we go. So let's just add some more marketing positions here. That's good. And we'll do some R&D positions as well. Let's just do one here or two positions there. Again, if you haven't already seen it, please look at the video on laying out your organizational chart. There's just a couple of little things here that might be quite handy for you. It wasn't actually included in the last video, but I've included it here and I'll do links between the videos. So please make sure you check both of them out so you get the best of laying out your organization chart, especially if you've got difficulties with them. So as I mentioned in that video, I try and not click and drag shapes if I possibly can. What I would do is I would use the organizational chart tab here at the top. So I'd use that. I'd click on relay out at the top to just get that this laid out and see how it works. Uh, if it's not looking great, then what I can do is I can change the layout structure. I'm going to click on this executive here at the top, click on the drop down list here and choose that layout. So it changes that layout structure there. If I choose these three by holding down the shift key and clicking each one of those, I'm going to choose the same layout structure for those. And now if I click on relay out, hopefully it'll just look a little better which is fantastic. It's still not fitting on a page, which is just a real pain in the backside. So what I'm going to do is just click on these three here and then click, click on the layout. I'm going to choose this bottom one here to get them on the page and then click on relayout and hopefully I've just squeezed them on the page. That's great. Excellent. If things are a bit weird, like say for instance, uh, let me just zoom in here. I had this issue again. If for instance I've clicked on this and I've clicked on relayout and yeah, you see because this has got one position and I've just clicked on this and I just want it to be one underneath somebody else there so if I clicked on that yeah I just want that going down you see even if I click on relay out as well it's just not perfect I want these evenly spaced so what you basically want to do is you could use the mouse to sort of drag this out here like so you could then click on all three and then from the home tab there's a drop down list under position you can choose distribute horizontally and it will distribute all of those horizontally to make sure these managers are distributed horizontally there. The only downside with that is you can see my executive at the top. It just, uh, if I move this executive at the top, you see everything else is just a bit fiddly. You know, it's, yeah. So what I want to do is if I want this here to line up with this one here, then what I'll do is I'll select this one uh, first, hold down the shift key, and then click on the second one. And notice if I just zoom in here that this first box is a big blue bold line around it. That's the key position. So that means that bottom one will align with the top one. Well, in fact, I don't want that haunted the other way around. So let's just go and do that. So if I click on the bottom one first, here we go. There we go. And hold down the shift key and click on the top. There we go. So when I go to a line now and align center, you see it aligns the top one. 
So it lines the top executive shape with the state of the middle manager there. And the organizational chart is starting to look a little better. So there we go. There's a very quick video, a quick tutorial from Computer Tutoring showing in Visio 2016 how you can create a stencil to create for your own organizational chart shapes and a little bit extra on laying out the shapes on the page. Thank you so much for watching.